today we are focusing about the topic that is confocal microscope it is a very important topic for the upcoming CU examination in the previous year there was a question regarding to confocal microscopy that read the principle of confocal microscope it poses two marks so in this uh, video we will, we will describe about the principle working uh, working areas advantage disadvantage and uses of the confocal microscope so let us uh, st uh, start with the idea that it is also known as confocal laser scanning microscope so it was first proposed by Marvis Minsky in 1957 although at that time computer was not generated definitely but later it has been used more frequently after uh, 2000 basically 2010 2005 in those years number of patents regarding to confocal microscopy has increased drastically so first understand why should we use confocal microscope here now say say this is uh, this is a smear typically a bacterial smear and this is the plane and three different bacterial cells are present one within the plane of focus and the two other one just above the plane of the focus and one next one is just below the plane of the focus so basically this bacteria it is leveled with fluorescent molecule so fluorescent molecule in plane of focus but these two molecules the red one and the black one they are basically also fluorescent fluorescent molecules out of plane of focus so what will happen if this is the objective lens when these fluorescent molecules maybe this is leveled with fluoroscamine this one is leveled with rhodamine and this one say any other kind of fluorescent molecule so when evil light is coming through this kind of fluorescent molecule they will emit uh, a longer wavelength of light that is the emission wavelength so they because they exhibit different degree of fluorescence because of having different areas so let me draw first so this is the red all of them will go past through the objective lens and the black one also now because they are not present in the same plane that is why the focal length for those molecule will also be different see this is the specific area where the two red light will coincide the blue light may be in different area where they will coincide and the black one say on the left side so if detector is present here if a detector like photomultiplier if photomultiplier is present here they will detect all of this radiation and therefore the image will be blurred and that is the disadvantage of using fluorescence microscopy we can see that there are some 
green light sorry uh, red light blue light and uh, another fluorescence molecule is present in the form of black light but basically the detector will receive a blurred vision and that is why confocal microscopy is produced where there are two objects located just before the detector molecule and this particular this particular region this particular gap region through which only the blue light is coming to the detector uh, the detector is basically a CCD detector digital camera so the detector will receive only the blue light but the red one and the black one will be red one and black one will not going to pass through this pinhole so this is actually called this is actually called emission pinhole so only the specific object that is in focus will be received by the detector and that is why it is called confocal laser scanning microscopy because it scans the every region of the of the specimen your specimen and that is why there will be a cleared vision so another uh, important point of having the uh, confocal microscopy that why you should use confocal microscope ahead of the fluorescence microscope is that in case of fluorescence microscope in case of uh, fluorescence microscope continuous exposure continuous exposure of sample continuous exposure of sample of sorry to high intensity of UV light causes photo bleaching so this is another disadvantage of disadvantage of fluorescence microscopy so confocal microscopy is basically used to overcome the shortcoming of fluorescence microscope so understand so the basic idea is that by the process of confocal microscopy we can uh, directly produce a two dimensional and also the three dimensional image of the uh, specimen so now the principle of confocal microscope now principle so what are the principle it increases the resolution increases the the resolution by stopping out of focus light stopping out of focus light and thereby increases its intensity so this is the first important principle that you increase the resolution right number two we can see they can scan the different degree different degree at various depth in series thereby enabling 2d or three-dimensional image better so the scan image sorry then it scan image at various depths thereby enabling two-dimensional or three-dimensional image better so let's understand the basic uh, mechanism of action of confocal microscopy or one orchid principle so here we are using a basically laser light so say this is the light source laser light the laser light will pass through the laser light will pass through an excitation aperture to 
to a dichromatic mirror to a dichromatic mirror what is the function of this dichromatic mirror this dichromatic mirror actually passes this light onto a first so this is the direction of light laser light first to a mirror so this is the mirror mirror number one so mirror number one and the mirror number one can be rotated rotate say in this direction clockwise direction so the light is now moving in a different degree of angle to a second meter so there is another mirror let's call say mirror 2 why it is called mirror 2 because this mirror can be located in a one second in a different degree of rotation so after coinciding to mirror 2 the light will be passing through the objective lens and onto the stage objective lens and onto the stage or also called specimen now remember specimen contains different degree of fluorescent molecule so after getting the light the there will be an emission wavelength so if this is our specimen so the specimen contains different molecules say located at different positions so light upon striking on a particular point will be coming back through the objective lens so only the light that is in focus will come through the objective lens and then meet at a point and that point encloses our detector which is a photomultiplier so there will be a pinhole these are the two blocking section which will block eventually all the other lights that, is, that are not in focus plane of focus right so uh, see one at a time it will generate a picture one now they will these two emitter can move here here they here by or here or there in different positions so that the light of in focus will be in different one light will focus at this point another light now focus on that point so at a particular time because one light is coming and focuses on a particular point so the image will be cleared so you have uh, several images like image 1 image 2 image 3 image 1 may be this point image 2 may be in this point image 3 may be in that point so all of these images uh, now can assembled by the software software assembled thereby generating a complete picture complete picture of the specimen so this is the working areas of the confocal microscope so here what we understand that there are special pinholes present to block out focus light to block out of focus light number two uh, actually why you are using a photo multiplier here mm, actually this is a pinhole which decreases the intensity of the light compensated by the presence of the photo multiplier so decrease the intensity of light can be compensated 
by using by using photo multiplier here we are using laser light unlike fluorescent microscope which uses uv light or visible light maximally here we are using laser light uh, number 4 the laser light that is laser beam scan throughout throughout the sample right so there are several advantages and disadvantages of the of using confocal microscopy the most important advantage is that entire sample will be illuminated illuminated properly so better view better view than process microscope better resolution about 15 to 16 times more than fluorescent microscope times number three uh, both live or fixed cells can be studied so this is the these are the advantages of using uh, confocal microscopy now the disadvantages the disadvantage so the first disadvantage it decreases the decreases the intensity of light and number two we are using we are using fluorescent molecules so the fluorescent molecules must be tagged proper position properly and it should be sensitive enough to laser light sometimes this causes damage to live specimen there are several applications of or uses of process microscopy like in quantum optics and nanocrystal nanocrystal imaging and spectroscopy we are using this kind of confocal microscopy we uh, can use to understand detailed structure of specific object specific object within the cell number three three-dimensional structure can be determined there are several articles regarding to the three-dimensional structure of the muscle protein by using confocal microscope so in this way you will understand about what is confocal microscopy the advantage disadvantage the working principles why should we use confocal microscope ahead of the process microscopy microscopes hope oh, this will help you better better to understand